Picture this. You're in the Arctic where it's negative 40 degrees outside. The kind of cold that can freeze your skin in minutes. And yet people are sitting inside a house made entirely of ice, wearing just light clothing, perfectly comfortable. Some igloos can reach temperatures of 60 degrees Fahrenheit inside, while the world outside is a frozen wasteland. A house made of ice keeping you warm. How does that even make sense? Here's what blows my mind. Ice is the perfect insulator, but it's not the ice itself doing the magic. When Inuit people build an igloo, they use compacted snow, which is basically frozen air. Scientists estimate that snow is about 90 to 95 percent trapped air pockets held together by ice crystals. And air, when it's trapped and can't move, is an incredible insulator. That's the same principle behind your winter jacket. Your body heat stays in, the cold stays out. And by the way, if questions like this keep you up at night, hit that subscribe button. Drop your burning questions in the comments, and I'll answer them in the next video. But design is only half the story. The shape matters just as much as the material. That dome? Pure genius. A 2015 study by thermal engineers found that the curved surface makes Arctic winds slide right off instead of penetrating through cracks like they would in a square building. Wind is what really kills you in extreme cold. It strips heat away faster than anything else. Now here's where it gets interesting. How do you actually warm it up inside? Body heat. Just your body sitting there generates about 100 watts of heat, like a bright light bulb. In a 12-foot igloo, two or three people can raise the temperature from below zero to 35 to 40 degrees just by breathing and existing. Add a small oil lamp and you can push it to 60 degrees. But wait, if it gets warm inside, wouldn't the whole thing melt and collapse? This is the most clever part. The inside surface does start to melt slightly, but that thin layer of water immediately refreezes into smooth, hard ice. Research from the University of Alaska showed this ice glaze actually makes the structure three times more wind-resistant. The igloo literally makes itself stronger as you warm it up. Now here's the part no one talks about. Not all snow works for igloos. Try building one in New York City with fluffy street snow, and it collapses. The Inuit knew exactly what snow to use after thousands of years of trial and error. They needed compacted snow from a single drift, the right consistency, the perfect texture. They could tell just by looking at it. But let's move on to the most brilliant engineering trick. The entrance design. Every igloo entrance is built lower than the main floor, usually with a tunnel leading in. Why? Because cold air sinks. All that freezing air from outside flows down and settles in the tunnel while warm air rises and stays trapped in the dome where you re-sitting. It's natural convection working in your favor. A 2018 study by Arctic researchers measured this effect and found temperature differences of nearly 100 degrees between outside and inside. Some traditional igloos even had multiple chambers connected by tunnels. Each chamber got progressively warmer as you moved toward the center. The outer chambers acted as cold traps, capturing the coldest air before it could reach the living space. They engineered climate zones using nothing but ice and geometry. And here's what really gets me. In 2019, modern engineers tried to improve the igloo design using reflective materials and advanced insulation. You know what they discovered? The traditional design was already nearly optimal. Optimal. Thousands of years of Arctic survival had created something that cutting-edge science could barely enhance. Expert builders can still construct one in under two hours with just a snow knife, no framework, no support beams. The spiral pattern and inward lean means every block holds itself in place. So here's the beautiful truth. The Inuit people did end conquer the Arctic by fighting against it. They worked with it. They took the most abundant thing around them, frozen water and air, and turned it into shelter that outperforms what most of us could design with modern tools. Ice doesn't keep you warm because it's hot. It keeps you warm because it's smart. The igloo isn't just a shelter frozen in time. It's proof that the greatest innovations don't always come from laboratories or factories. Sometimes they come from people who had no choice but to understand nature at its deepest level. And in doing so, created something we still can improve thousands of years later. Subscribe to the channel so you do not miss out on all the answers to all the questions that are on your mind.